how are you? Welcome to September 2080 Angel Card Reading with Grace. I'm Grace and I think we're gonna step in right away. What's for September 2018 for my dear fire signs? Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Okay. The beginning of the month, the middle, and the end. It may change, yes. But we're looking at the energy. Aries, Leo, and Sag. Aries, Leo, and Sag. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Okay. Very soon I'm going to be looking what's cooking. Looking what's cooking. Okay. How are you doing, you guys? Aries, Leo, and Sag. Aries, Leo, and Sag, Aries, Leo, and Sag, it Aries. Okay. Aries, Leo, and Sag. Okay. Move this a little bit because it's getting crowded. Uh, Okay, and here we're gonna put the love, love, love card. Okay, what's the main theme? Oh, here is jumping out Aries, Leo, and Sag. Hmm, okay, let's start. Let's start. So, we're starting with beautiful Aries, of course, is first. And Aries. Let me look at Aries. Mm, okay. So we're coming in the beginning of the month of September, number nine. Time to end complete so we can start something new. So let's see how for you. Mm, some great news. My dear Aries, some victory, some uh, announcement, some recognition, rewards, success, uh, and smart choices. But trust your intuition because you may be that this news, this recognition, this proposal, proposition requires you to do something from ground zero. So either you ending something and it's time to begin something new or it's a totally new ball game. And you starting from the beginning, from the real beginning, okay? But trust your intuition and take a leap of faith. What is that you really would like to do from the beginning? And don't be afraid. It's going to be okay. Now, the next one says patience, please. So, she's looking at the butterfly. Butterfly means change. So, while this change is occurring, or you hear the news and you're thinking, okay, I'm going to start everything from the beginning, from the ground zero. Here requires some pause in action. So, not everything will happen, boom, right uh, at this moment. Just one by one, okay? And I see you in the middle of the month that you're reviewing your past you reviewing your past actions, past life situations. Um, you're just looking back and you're saying, okay, I want to be 
with people who resonate with me. I want to do a job or climb that ladder of success or have a business that resonates with my heart. I want to be happy. And the advice is again, before was patience and now is rest and reconsider. It's kind of saying in the month of September, number nine, when it's time to end something and begin something completely new, don't make decisions when you really overwhelmed, overburdened, when you really tired. Just get some rest. Go on a vacation. We can get away. And then, whatever you've been thinking prior to this moment, somewhere around the middle of September, you may actually reconsider, is this aligned with my heart? Is this what it's going to serve me in the long run? Okay, so you really feeling deeply. And yes, we have a new moon in a Virgo, a 17 degrees and 9-9, so September 9. So it's really time for this ending. So the new things may begin. But 17 degrees, 17 to me is a number of the soul. So what's in your soul, my dear Aries? And when it comes to love, or reconciliation, someone comes back from the past. So it's a reunion. Okay? And maybe that's why, you, for some of you, will be somebody comes back from the past and that requires moving. Maybe changing jobs, changing career, business, some kind of adjustment. But again, is this aligned with who you are right now? Is this okay? Is this good for you? Okay? And I see that you're living the month on worry, my dear Aries. You, that means sleepless nights. And the full moon will be on the 25th in Aries in your own sign and you not even sleeping you really thinking very deeply is this good for me or this is not and because the next card is choose your battles i would say wisely again what about these decisions are they good for you or not do you have to fight with people? Do you have to uh, compromise? So you need to do some re-evaluation, my dear Aries. How this plays out for you. But don't be overwhelmed. Uh, get some rest. And feel more than think. Because thinking is ego. And yes, I always repeat... Follow your heart, but take the brain with you. Okay, so this is like, um, boom, something new for you. But think and even more feel if this is truly good for you or not. Because you going, obviously, in the new direction. And a beautiful direction. But your heart must be in it. Okay, so many kisses, many hugs, and until I see you again, my dear Leo, what's for you? Hmm. Okay, very interesting, very interesting, and for you is have patience. That's how September, the uh, month number nine meaning endings, completion. And for you is have patience. So don't worry. Um, be kind of patient and watchful of what's going on. Don't rush into anything. Don't jump on something that shows up and looks great or sounds great. Okay? Because next to it is sadness and isolation and it's number three and what first comes to me is speak up 
also it may be about uh, not just communication but also your brothers or sisters, your siblings, short travel, something that maybe something was said and you didn't like and you want to react. Take care easy, relax. Maybe you either really euphoric or you really sad depressed. So don't make a decision if you in this kind Mm, mood. No, that's not the good thing. Something m must first show up. You must first find out before you jump on anything in September. And then, yes, you're gonna know. 9-9, nine, nine, that's the new moon in uh, Virgo in 17 degrees. That's number of soul. And two nines, which 9 and 9 is 18, still is 9. Is about the perfect timing. You will know when is exactly the perfect timing to finish something, to make a decision, to decide, and to move forward. Okay? You will know. You will know. So, in the beginning, just relax. Okay? Now, the middle of the month, I see you, that's the king, uh, the fire king. <laughs> So, this must be you, my dear Leo, or some other um, fire person, Aries, Leo, Sag. You may have also moon or ascendant in it. And next to it is helpless and hopeless. Time to make a decision to go forward to have the success. And isn't that interesting? Look at this. The beginning was sadness and isolation. And now it's helpless and hopeless. Three is half of eight. You see, he may go left, he may go right. But what he's looking for is that horizon with the beautiful light in it. So if you want to make a decision, first of all, either it's about finances or even, you know, being a leader, which you naturally are, you may also find unexpectedly that someone wants to help you. You may find a supporter of your cause, of your case, and it will help you to succeed. But go towards light. This is not the choice left or right. Mm -mm. The truth I hear is in the middle. Whatever that means for you. And maybe the reading is for not too many people this time. But the answer is in the middle. Don't go what sounds good financially only. Or the place is beautiful, so I will go there. Because whatever the decision is that considers this side or this side, left or right, in the middle is the answer. Where is the light? Don't look at darkness, look at light, okay? Wow, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a, to a higher level of commitment. So with your partner, you may decide to um, move in get engaged, get married, some serious decision. And maybe that's why you're so divided between hmm, this or that, um, what makes sense. Now, we ending up with King of Winter, so it's another king. Uh, winter is sword, so either is uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And the king, somebody who is serious. You may be getting advice from a friend, you may be getting advice from a lawyer or accountant or some financial advisor, it's very possible. Maybe you even want some money or you need to spend serious money and now you need to uh, get some advice. But seek the truth inside of you, seven, very spiritual, very inward. Again, about, uh, you know what, I don't listen to anybody else. I go with my own truth. 
you may have different people being eager to advise you, to tell you what to do, but the ultimate truth is right here. You're the best judge. You're the best lawyer for your own cause. Wow. Many kisses, many hugs, mm. and until we meet again. My dear Sagittarius, and what's for you? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. We're starting a month with a tower. September is the month number nine, completion, endings, so then you may begin. Boy, you starting with the tower. Boom! Something is happening that it's supposed to happen time ago, <laughs> sometimes a long time ago, but you wouldn't like to go for it or face some changes. And now it comes. Also, it may be that some things that you believed in, some saying, some belief system, the old way of doing things, you finally realizing that it's time to let it go. You see something, something happened, this eclipse is perhaps, and the full moon in Pisces on the 26th of August, maybe brought something that finally you see the bigger picture. And the picture doesn't look as it used to. <clears throat> For some, it's in, something will happen that will uh, automatically change further whatever is going to be happening. Now you have a third eye chakra with this um, tower. So for some of you, you will have that aha moment. For some of you, your third eye chakra will bring you the awareness of something big that will change your life. Maybe dream, maybe sign, maybe somebody says something, somebody did something, you finally got it. So listen to your intuition. Your dreams will come true in spring of 2019. You will finally see that the change that you want so much, that you require so much, that you're dreaming about, something that you want so badly is coming in the spring of 2019, for some of you. Now, the middle of September, maybe you're looking for a job and you're finding, or maybe someone who you're going to be working for, a boss, a manager, is a good person, compassionate, accomplished, gifted, um, practical, beautiful, charismatic. So, if that's what you're looking for, but also be practical, be assertive. Don't take just anything grabbing, but looking closely at this. Is this good for me? Does this make any sense? Okay. And find balance. For you is balance. So maybe you feel like out of balance. And you need to be, be more assertive. And you need to be more practical. Grounded at this time. Maybe it's something out of balance. And now you're looking okay. You know, for that inner peace, inner harmony within your life because something went too far down or too far out and you need to find that balance. Uh, let your friends help you. If you're looking for someone, for love, 
for a close friend, just say it, you know? Be open about it. Don't hide it. Just say, I would love to find a love or great friendship, great companionship. So be open, okay? And expect that friends may help you. And you're leaving September very tired, exhausted, some of you. Either overwork physically, mentally, or emotionally. And maybe that's why you needed this balance so much. But this message says go on a vacation, go on a weekend, or simply sleep, sleep, sleep until you get a lot of rest. So you can come back as relaxed, as full of balance, because right now in September you don't have it. I don't see it. You, I don't see it. You're all over the place. And you're not truly thrilled. You, during the changes, some completion of that September, number nine for you. And you may also find out something around the full moon uh, in Aries on the 25th of September. You may find out something. And Saturn on the 6th of September goes forward. So the Saturn may bring you also sudden changes, okay? But the end of end is success and growth. So you going in a good direction. So all of this, whatever was happening, you get some good sleep, good rest, vacation, because you're going in October towards success and growth. Beautiful, beautiful, my Sag. So I wish you all the best. Many kisses, many hugs. Mm. And until very next time.